let's imagine that all the creative decisions that we have seen with all these franchises, Warner Brothers, Disney, between Marvel and Lucasfilm, whatever the case is, DC, you know, all of that. Let's say everyone involved in the creative and business decisions regarding these franchises uh, of the current years transferred over, like the, their, their mode of thinking transferred over to the food world. And you go to your favorite restaurant. Could be a fast food chain, could be a nice restaurant in your town, wh whatever the case is. Could be any kind of restaurant. And you go in and you're like, I, I, I'm, it's, it's a Sunday afternoon. I'm going to get my traditional favorite entree of this favorite place of mine. And you get the entree and something's not quite right. Maybe there's not pepper in the uh, smoked peppered bacon. <laughs> okay, but it's still bacon, you know, it's still bacon in your wrap, right? Okay, okay. I, I miss the pepper. I miss the black pepper. Uh, but that's okay. It's, it's got all the ingredients and all of that. And then other changes in the, in the recipe start happening. And it's like, well, but this was my favorite entree. I really enjoyed this, but now it's, it's kind of bland. And then you're like, okay, well, I'll get something else. But it, it wasn't the same as that first entree you love so much that that was your Sunday tradition, man. And they changed the recipe. Okay. Well, okay. It, it, it's, there's still food. It's still a good restaurant and there's still, there's still good food in this restaurant. So you start a new tradition with a new entree. I'm like, okay, I, I like this, but then it starts happening again. L weeks, months down the road. It's like, oh, what did they do to this entree? And then you're looking at the menu. I'm like, well, I could change, but you know, I'm not, I don't know. I'm not really feeling like I, I like this menu. Maybe I just, shouldn't go to this restaurant anymore. And you don't. Why? Oh, well, you have the freedom to, to choose not to do that because there are other restaurants. But then you go to different restaurants and you're seeing the same thing happen at the different restaurants. There's some creative decisions on the recipes that you just don't agree with. And then, then you're seeing this, these, these major changes, not just in the local restaurants or the popular restaurants around the country but also your favorite fast food restaurants. Let's say it came to the point where Chick-fil-A stopped serving chicken. Now that's a big change, right? And they're like, well, okay, I guess, I guess all these restaurants are doing this. Like they're, they're taking away my favorite food. It's still food, it's still nutrition, but they're taking away my favorite food. I don't really have the options of going to any more restaurants. Um, Okay, well, I'll, I'll start cooking, okay? There's nothing wrong with cooking. I'll, I'll start cooking. Um, and then you're seeing a very questionable change, questionable change in the grocery store. There's no East Asian aisle. There's no Mexican aisle. There's no Italian aisle. There's, there's, no, there's no spices. Where are the spices? I, I came from my basil, and there's no basil. And then you start realizing the change in the way food is being presented, whether in the restaurant or the options you would have at a grocery store. There's There's been a change where now food is just meant to be sustenance, to, to partake in, to have nutrition, but without the flavor. These business creative decisions saying, well, no, no, this is still good for you because, you know, you got you, you got your nutrition, you know, you're still eating. OK, don't don't complain just because you can't put spices on your meal that you're trying to cook and, and make be flavorful. The, the excellence is gone. You still got the nutrition. You still got the sustenance to keep you alive. But the excellence of the quality of food is gone. And there's no optionality anymore. You don't have anywhere to go to get excellent food. You can only have mediocre food. Like, okay, I've got this chicken. It's meat. I need the meat. I need the protein. But I miss that seasoning for the chicken. Where's my chicken? Like the chicken that I used to make every Sunday. The optionality is not there because excellence no longer exists. And I think that is happening with the IPs where it's not just the 
bad art existing. It's existing at the expense of good art because what was good quality, what was excellent quality has been destroyed or reworked or revised and replaced with a, a lesser thing. It's, it's not even so much the bad art existing, but now it's existing at a level, at a rate where, where, where good art is, is getting less and less. It, it's existing at the expense of good art. They're, they're not coexisting. Bad art and good art are not really coexisting anymore. It's just perpetually bad. It's perpetually bad.